A few months ago, I dropped a video talking about Kai Sinet's former cameraman Chris V getting exposed for talking to an underage girl around 2021. I remember when I this happened. I do want to clarify and that they this tried to is make not it was Chris, Chris Next Door. That shit was so AMP, trash. As Complex made the mistake of saying this in a now deleted article. Yeah, that lawsuit is going to hit like crack. But this whole mm -hmm. situation blew up from a Twitter thread which this woman who was underage at the beginning of all this posted screenshots of messages between them and in these messages he clearly asked her age which she responded with 17. Now she did lie about her age to him initially with her friends telling her to say that she was 19 when they met Chris on a video chat website I was actually on TV. This so kind of behavior 19. from girls is mm, honestly weird to me. Going, Just be upfront and honest with people. But this is nothing out of the ordinary. That's why as an adult you have to do your due diligence and Absolutely. verify stuff like like this but after knowing her age chris proceeded to continue communication in a flirt that's where the issue lied see now it's so here's the thing about these predator stories that people always get wrong at the start the girl can lie and say hey i'm of age and at that point yeah if they start flirting and stuff like that they're not doing anything wrong because they learned they were of age then when the girl confesses like hey i'm actually 16 or 17 or whatever and you be like all right uh, i didn't know you were underage now that i know I, i'm i'm cool i'm cool on this you know what i'm saying and you're you're good because she lied you thought she was of age and then you found out she wasn't and then you stopped you're good but then niggas do this and continue the conversation with the girl after finding out that they were actually underage and that's where the problem starts Cretaceous manner which led to some pretty explicit conversation and some ins this is i don't think i've ever actually read this oh my gosh Ah, uh, ah, uh, oh my god, Same videos bro. being sent. Mind you, these convos started with banter about playing video games together. So this whole situation blows up, Ooh. and people are cooking Chris online, calling him a predator, and Kai catches wind of it before one of his U-Haul streams, where he is visibly emotional. And this is understandable given the fact that he's gone through multiple controversial situations after reaching a huge milestone. Kai responds by cutting yeah, all ties with, with girl, Chris after saying that he received this. more evidence from the girl, which confirms everything. Chris, and then that help you with Matter my streams, matter my text, matter my shit. apparently, um, and it's not even apparent, it's here clear as day. In 2021, you just got caught talking to a minor who was 17 years old, and it's just annoying when shit happened. Damn, this nigga really about to cry about it, too. Come on, my name every time, bro. I get connected in situations. Come relax, bro. Nigga, it gets bad because she lied about her age. She said she was 19. She lied about her age. She ended up saying her age. Said she was 17. Right then on door, right then on, right at that moment, you're supposed to stop texting. That's exactly what I said. He would have been okay if he stopped because everybody would have saw it like, okay, yeah, she lied to you. And then she finally confessed and you was like, oh, I'm cool off of that. You're good, nigga. But you kept going. I just woke up. I seen this shit on the internet. I looked at it. First thing I did was say, hey, let me sit down and let me get down to the bottom of this to completely confirm everything. I reached out to the person who went online and did all the other shit. I reached out to her and shit. she showed me every single thing. Um, I asked her to confirm the iMessage, to confirm the number. It's confirmed, all right? It's all his number. It's confirmed. I'm not associated myself with him. He's not associated with me. I'm not associated with him. And after the situation, Chris took down all his pictures on Instagram imagine, because everybody was cooking Like, him. Like, guys, for a second, bro, just, just, put, just imagine being the cameraman for Kai Sinet, the biggest streamer of all time at this point. And fucking that up by talking to a minor nigga. Oh my. Like, again, I, I, I keep going back to this point. When she said she was 19, whatever. But when she confessed, it's like, bro, stop. 
in every comment under every post and no one heard a peep from him until yesterday when he finally returned with a response now before oh, i get into his response i do want to stress that chris is currently 24 i found out that his birthday is on march 4th based on the fact that he was about to turn 18 in march 2018 and he posted a tweet on his birthday in 2018 which confirms it the girl said that she just turned 17 at the time they began texting in december 2021 which would have made him 21 years old it doesn't take Damn. a rocket scientist to guess that she has a late birthday these comments Convos went on until March 2022 when he was 22 and she was still 17. That's almost a five year age gap. So almost a whole year passed when she was still 17 and he was 22 years old. Just think mm -hmm. about how crazy that is. I saw a lot of sick folks in the comments of my last video defending this man, which is insane in itself. So in Chris's emotional yeah, response, nuts. he admits to his wrong by saying, I know my actions weren't perfect, but I want to make clear that the conversations shown to y'all weren't in their full context and have missing pieces and attempt to make me look like someone I'm not. Never has my character hinted at this kind of behavior, nor do I stand for that type of predatory behavior. Yeah, so I made this bro. video to explain my point of view and explain how this came from me simply being immature for my age. And I understand I made a mistake, but that doesn't define who I am. And I'm not the person I was made out to be. Simply being immature for your age? Nigga, immaturity and talking to minors do not equate at all, bro. You can be an immature ass nigga and still date women that are of age, bro. Like what? B. Man, you could have just took two seconds to do spell check and check your grammar because this was just all over the place. In the video, he basically says that the internet is missing some facts about the situation. He was 21, we knew this. She was 17, we knew this. He was a sophomore in college and she was a freshman. So he didn't see anything wrong with them engaging in those types of conversations. I was setting up the U-Haul stream that day. I got a text about it. I, I'm reading everything that's being said about me. I'm like, wait, sophomore is going on right now right now like i don't know how to feel like none of that right? wait sophomore in high school at 17 bro what is gonna text engaging in those type he was a sophomore in college and she was a freshman so he didn't see anything wrong with them engaging in those types of conversations oh I was she was a setting up the u-haul stream that day okay. i got a text about it I, i'm reading everything that's being said about me i'm like bro what is going on right now see right that i can understand that's what i'm saying okay you tell me you're a freshman college i'm thinking okay maybe she is 19 now like i don't know how to feel like none of Idiot. that right so i literally just get in my car and drive to the apartment i was staying at put myself into a ball and laid on the couch and just read everything that was being said about me i don't know it was just it was a very very dark time but i think when she finally I confessed i think that's the problem i think that's the point that uh, like that makes it like solidified like bro after she told you she was actually underage you should have just stopped um, or e even like been like all right I can't even say that either because that in itself is disgusting. I was going to say pre, well, I wasn't going to say pre-order, but like basically pre-order. Be like, okay, I'll wait till you're 18. That in itself is kind of nasty too. I don't, I don't, see, the thing is, I don't know how to sit. I wouldn't know how to handle this situation because I would never put myself in that situation whatsoever. What to say? I know anything. As for the situation, the world, the internet and the world in a sense, thinks i'm this predator and I'm, I'm not like i'm not at all at the time i was 21 years old she was 17 years old i understand why you guys were frustrated and upset that that was even a thing it took me a while to understand to that, like, key, until I... I say my side y'all won't understand what actually happened in at, mm -hmm. at this time uh in 2021 uh, i'm 21 years old uh and she was 17. Um, but he was born in 2000 but at the time i was a sophomore in college and she was a freshman so these are things that like at first i didn't know but over time like talking to her i got to know right so it changed like my mindset about talking to her if that makes sense like she was in college we were both in college. She was just a grade under me. I didn't see a problem with me talking to her, right? I graduated high school at 19. And this is why old. I'm saying, so like, I, I don't understand. I didn't see a problem with me talking to her. Like, I can understand why he would college. actually believe her. Chris then goes on to say that one mistake doesn't define him and says that he regrets it because of everything that he lost. That happening isn't what defines me, but what I do after is. So I wanted to just simply explain to y'all like that's literally the only reason i 
continued talking to her in the like at all was because of the fact that we were both in college. That's never been my character. I've worked my ass off to get to where I where I was at. I put in the work, the most work I've ever put in in my life for everything to just disappear over something that I was just too dumb and young to understand what was actually going on. It was it was just a great feeling of being able to do something great with people you actually care about. And I don't know, it hurt that that was taken from me. And in a way, I gotta blame myself because I took it from myself in a way too. Now a lot of people don't admit they're wrong, so I'll give them yeah. a point for that one. I'll but I still that. think he's weird. My main issue with how he moved in the situation is him knowing that this girl lied about her age to him and he continued to pursue her. Then That's my thing. It's like, I can't feel bad for them tears, my nigga. I can't. Like, I understand you lost shit, and I, I I don't wish failure upon anyone. That's not who I am. I don't wish failure upon nobody. But at the same time, it's like... I I agree. I don't, I don't think he's... I won't go as far as saying he's a predator. Like, a, a predator for real. I don't know. I don't think he... I, I won't go as far as saying, like, he's a certified predator. Uh, or pedophile because like he, she was 17 and in college she lied about a two year age difference and on top of that she is 17 about to be 18 I, I, I mean I can't say predator but like at the same time once you found out that she wasn't 18 you should have just stopped bro then on top of that, he sent freaky messages to her. Remember, she was still 17 when he turned 22. In the final part of his response, he basically asked for another job because as far as working online goes, he's basically unemployed. I will leave all my work uh, contacts below. Um, anyone that needs help, stream setups, streaming, IRL streaming, whatever it may be, um, feel free to contact me below. And yeah, we can work. We can fix. The thing that I don't think he's understanding here is that even if people want to give you a second chance, the chances of you finding like sustainable work now is going to be really difficult because people are going to be putting out their own reputation to have you as their cameraman. Like, wait, who's your cameraman? Chris V. Chris V, the nigga who talked to the underage girl. Figure sign out, um, but yeah, I'm I'm tired of keeping my head down. Like I'm, I, I I've always been somebody that like is just ready to work. So yeah, I don't know how we tell him, but as far as getting another Not job the in the streaming space, he may be cooked. He might have to find some gigs on Fiverr That's or what Upwork I said. or something. Because why would a streamer willingly employ someone who has been in controversy of this nature? You know That's how bad said. that could look on them. But that's all I gotta say about the situation. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Out. It's Fargo, and I'm out. I agree. Even if the age of consent is 16, bro, just stay away, bro. Just just get out of that, bro. Only do 18 plus, bro. That's just...